We know Carrie's family is linked to this legendary figure somehow, so we thought her castle would be a good place to start looking for clues. The kids are instantly impressed by the castle. Although it's not a traditional castle in the sense of soaring turrets and ramparts, it does have one craggly stone structure rising boldly from the green plains. And it's surrounded by three sides by water. My great-great-great-grandmother lived here, Grace O'Malley. The great-great-great-great-great-great. The last name is O'Malley. Um, and Carrie tells them the story of their grandma. It's a long, long time ago. Grace O'Malley was the first female pirate. She was born in the early 1500s to a chieftain in the O'Malley clan. During this time, girls were meant to learn the ways of the home and become ladies, and men were to fight the battles. But Grania, that was her Irish name, had other ideas. As a teenager, she cut off all her hair, dressed in boys' clothes, and jumped ship aboard her father's fleet. He admired her spirit and taught her the ways of the water, and she earned the name Pirate Queen. Grace acquired the castle we're visiting today when she married her second husband, Richard. Some people think she went up there looking at boats coming down, everyone getting in their boats and sailing off to fight a battle with the English. And in fact, it was the English that finally gave her a run for her money. So the bad guys pull and go like, ah. An English governor sent to rule Connaught tried desperately to stop the pirate queen, but she decided to go straight to the source with a visit to Queen Elizabeth I, who sent word for the governor to leave her alone. It seems these two ladies were kindred spirits, and so she lived her life out in Clue Bay on the decks of pirate boats, galloping through the countryside on horseback, hacking it out in sword fights, and living life on her terms. The boys are fascinated by their bold grandma and want to take a look around her house. Our friends back at the B&B &B told us that if the castle was locked, just to knock at the house next door for the key. Kind of the way things are done here out in rural Ireland. But luckily the door is open today and we go in. Hey look guys, stairs. Wonder what's up here. On the second level, a small room looks like it may have been a sleeping area, but the stairs keep going. On the third level, square windows frame a beautiful picture of the bay. Pirates are coming, what? But there are no cannons here, and no information other than what we can dream up. So if we're going to find information on the family, it looks like we'll have to hunt elsewhere. Back in town, we head out for some family fun and a visit to the Westport House, an 18th century grand house built on the site of a, you guessed it, an O'Malley Castle. It's a great place to get a bit of Irish history along with a fun amusement park. The gardens have huge fun slides, trains, and boat rides that are fun for kids, and inside the house, there's a big museum. Just outside the house is a statue of Grace O'Malley, which the kids find amusing. The museum has lots of information and traces Grania's family down through several generations. But I still have about a 200 year gap to fill in where their tree ends and mine begins. So tomorrow we'll head over to Lewisburg to see what we can find out there. Today we're heading back down to the south side of Clue Bay to catch a ferry to Clare Island. We're gonna stop in Lewisburg along the way to see if we can't find some marriage documents for Carrie's great-great-grandparents in the church there. But first, the second B, breakfast.